Hey everyone, welcome to PC Tricks Guru YouTube channel. And in today's video, we are going to see how to set up a virtual machine for Windows 11 in a VMware Workstation Player. So let's get started. To set up your virtual machine, uh, you just have to download a VMware Workstation Player first, which is uh, available for free. So just open your web browser and uh, then uh, go to the website or just go, uh, Google it VMware Player. If you search for VMware Player, you'll see some of the links and uh, you have to click on Download VMware Workstation Player. So just click over here and uh, then you can scroll down a little bit and here you can see the option try workstation 17 player for windows if you click on download now here it will initiate the download process i already have downloaded it and installed it so i'm not going to repeat the process again so this is the first requirement that you have completed and now let's go and download the setup or the iso file for windows 11 so for that just uh, type windows 11 iso in google and uh, then click on the download windows 11 link so here you'll see two options the first option is download iso using the windows 11 installation assistant and the second one is create windows 11 installation media and the third option is also there which will directly allow you to download the windows 11 disk image so we are going to use the third option which is download 11 disk image for 64 x 64 bit devices right so let's click on download drop down menu here and select windows 11 multi edition iso for 64 devices then click on download now and on the next page click on this drop down and select english united states click on confirm and then you can see that it has given you the page has given you the option to download 64-bit installer the iso file for windows 11. so again if you click over here it will initiate the download for windows 11 iso which is 6.34 gigabytes again i'm not going to re-download it because i already have downloaded this setup this installer in my system so now we can go here and close the web browser so once you are done with the installation of vmware you can simply run this setup that you downloaded earlier for vmware workstation player and once the installation gets completed you should be able to see this icon over here on a desktop so just run it double click on the icon and then it will launch vmware workstation 17 player so once the uh, vmware workstation player has been launched you'll see the option to create a virtual machine to open a virtual machine and upgrade to VMware Workstation Pro. We are using the non-commercial version uh, just for the training purpose. So that is why we do not have to upgrade it to the pro version. And uh, I'll simply select create a new virtual machine option from here. Okay. So once you click on create a new virtual machine option, uh, it will open another box where you'll see that uh, it has some options to install windows from your optical drive or directly from an iso file that you downloaded or you'll see the third option i will install the operating system later so for now what i will recommend that uh, go with the third option i will install the operating system later because uh, at first we are just going to create a blank hard drive blank virtual hard drive in the system and then we'll create a configuration for the system that we want and then we'll install the iso file in that virtual machine that we have created so click on the third option i'll install the operating system later and then click on next after clicking on next it will ask you that whether you want to install windows linux or any other operating system so yes we are going to install windows and uh, the version of the operating system it's windows 11 so you can just scroll up and select windows 11 x 64 from this list you can uh, do the same steps for all the operating systems like if you have any windows 10 installer if you have downloaded windows 10 iso you can use this one windows 10 x 64 but for now i'll just uh, use the windows 11 x 64 because we are going to create a virtual machine for windows 11 then click on next 
After clicking next, it will ask you to give your virtual machine a name. So we'll just leave it Windows 11 x 64. And uh, it's asking for the location that where do you want to store this virtual machine. So usually it gets stored in the documents folder in the virtual machines uh, folder. So I'm not going to change the location. I'll just use the default location. Just click on next. And uh, on the next option, it will uh, ask you for the uh, encryption type. And here you have two options. All the files of this virtual machine needs to be encrypted or only the files that are needed to support a TPM are encrypted. We'll just use uh, the second option. Only the files needed to support a TPM encryption. Uh, I'll select this one and it's asking for the password that whether do you want to uh, create a password or not so password is required I'll just use a random password which will be one two three four four five one two three four five okay this is sample password and then click on next have at least eight characters okay six seven eight click next okay now on the next screen it's asking you to specify the disk capacity uh, usually 60 gigabytes of uh, hard drive space would be enough I'll just change it to 60 it's asking us that whether you want to store the virtual disk as a single file or multiple files store virtual disk as a single file that would work for me because I do not want to move this virtual machine in a different device so that's fine with me click on next and again uh, it's giving us the basic requirements for the hardware that we want here I'll just click on customize hardware and here memory it's asking us to select the recommended memory so usually uh, 4GB it is enough more than enough for uh, running Windows 11 and for processors if your device has multiple cores you can select the number of cores from here if you do not want to perform any heavy task in your uh, virtual machines you can just go with this uh, two two number of virtual cores that is fine uh, new DVD CD okay so here I will just go ahead and use the ISO image file as my CD or DVD and here you have to browse for the ISO file that you have downloaded so from here from this list you can select Windows 11 and that is it network adapter NAT would be fine USB controller present sound card auto detect display auto detect okay that is fine nothing else is required that's it click on close all right now click on finish and your VM would be created now so as you can see that uh, your Windows 11 x 64 this has been created and uh, if you want to edit the virtual machine settings you can just click here and then change the settings of the hardware that you have selected for your virtual machine so already uh, we already have selected the recommended hardware that we want so there is no any need to change this one and uh, now let's click on play virtual machine so usually to run the virtual machine you can either click play virtual machine or click on this play icon power on icon and it would start so I'll just click on play virtual machine okay now you can see that virtual machine has booted up and uh, here the installation has started okay uh, now is the time to start the installation I'll just click on next click on install now if you want to go full screen you can click on here enter full screen mode and uh, your VDI your virtual machine it will start running in full screen currently I do not have any product key so I'll just click on I don't have a product key and then it will give us the options to select that which version of Windows do we want to install so I'll just select Windows 11 Pro and then click on next 
accept the license agreement custom install we have this unallocated drive just create a partition and click on ok alright so this is the partition 3 where our windows is going to be installed you can simply click on format and then click on next windows installation has begun it is going to take some time to complete the installation so what I'll do let's cut the part where the installation process is going on and then come back to the place where it is wrapping up the installation installation is almost completed so we need to restart the computer let's click on restart now and the virtual machine it would be restarted okay so the installation is almost completed now we need to select the country okay here it is click on yes okay now we have to give the device a name so I'll just name it Windows 11 email or you can just use the first option set up for personal use then click on next now it's asking us to create a pin I'll just click on create pin okay so the installation has finally completed and you can see the desktop here all right so with this let's wrap up the video uh, if you liked the video please give it a like and uh, if you have any questions just put your questions in the comments and I'll try to reply you all and a subscribe would also help me so kindly click on subscribe and uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends till then have a good day to all of you. See you in the next video. Bye for now.